Hey everyone, Brian here with SampleLibraryReview.com and today we're going to check out Liminal Horns Volume 1. This is another library from Crocus Soundware in their Liminal series and this is going to be for the full version of Contact 6.7.1 or higher. It's going to contain French horn and flugelhorn samples. If you don't know what a flugelhorn is, it's a lower pitched trumpet and it's much more mellow. So it's going to contain samples of those two instruments and it's going to be mostly pads and evolving soundscapes. They even say the liminal range is not intended for fast passages or soaring melodies. So keep that in mind as we listen to the sounds. At full price, this is going to retail for about 58 pounds, which is about 70 US dollars. All right, so here I have the interface. It's exactly the same as the other libraries in the Liminal series. So we have these two layers here. Do you notice here it says flugelhorn? all of those, and then down here is going to be the French horn. Now, if you aren't familiar with this interface, how it works is obviously these are going to be assigned to the flugelhorn. If I click this one there, it's going to be the sustain patch. We can also layer them together as you see, but right now I'll just do the flugelhorn sustain, and it's going to be a two different instruments playing that sustain. Now you can solo each layer. So there's two different instruments, as I mentioned. Here is just the first one. There's the second one. And you can load them both together, which will be the same as doing this, which is the an ensemble. Now for each uh, patch here, you can click this and you have some articulation settings, as you can see, LFOs, ADSR controls, and then you can reverse the sample and adjust the volume and velocity curve. So the reason they have these two solos as well, so let's say we could reverse both of these and then you could still have the sustain. Um, so instead of them all playing the same thing, it's now playing these two solo instruments reversed along with the two solo instruments as an ensemble, not reversed. And it sounds like this. And then down here we have the French horns. So while these are brass samples, the, the real feature of the library is going to be sound design and pads and that kind of cool stuff. So not only are we going to go through the different articulations, we'll go through some snapshots as well. And I will play through a lot of the different sounds here now.
So just a quick note, um, there are a bit of time stretching artifacts as these do sync to tempo, it seems. I don't know, I know the vocal textures, only the rhythmic style patches um, sync to your tempo, but it looks like at least for the short notes, um, they're gonna sync to your tempo. So if you get a little bit of time stretching artifacts, you might have noticed I kind of adjusted my tempo throughout this little demonstration because I was hearing a little bit of that. These are also a little bit noisier samples than the vocal textures. So I was trying to determine if those are the players uh, breathing or, you know, kind of studio noise or if it was the time stretching. So if that's something that you hear throughout this demonstration, uh, this one sounds better at this lower tempo. So it's just something to experiment with if you load up something that's got kind of rhythmic short notes in it.
All right, so those were some of the snapshots. I got to say, it sounded really good, even in the lower ranges, kind of the artificial, where they've, you know, beyond the actual range of the actual instrument. For instance, there was one called Mellow Mix Here. So if we load up that snapshot, it was the French horn sustain, and then these two of the flugelhorn. Uh, that sounded really, really good in the lower dynamics. And you can also really hear the, the samples are very noisy. Um, I think that actually adds to kind of the vibe and the feel of this actual library. Um, you can definitely tell these are organic horns. That's what the samples started out as. But even when I was playing something like up high and doing a pitch bend, it sounds more like a synth. Like that's kind of easily instant kind of Blade Runner dystopian or Blade Runner 2049 dystopian synth type sound just with one key and a pitch bend. So these are really nice samples. Um, I kind of like the more dark, uh, ambient, more atonal, creepy side of it. But it's also it also can be very beautiful. There's lots of air in the samples. Again, lots of noise. You can hear a lot of kind of... Just sounds like there are people there performing these instruments and they're not trying to be quiet about it. So that adds to the flavor of this library. Uh, whether you like it or hate it, it all depends on you. I think this is a very um, nice library. I actually maybe like this horns one uh, better than their vocal one because of the kind of uniqueness of the samples. I mean, I, I have many blast brass libraries but I don't have any that quite sound like this. So that was a quick look and listen to Liminal Horns Volume 1. Hope you guys enjoyed that, and I will see you next time.